So we're headed to a call that um, guy who has a potential warrant is being kind of is is at someone's house and we're heading to that house right now. Yes, apparently, from what I understand, um, the guy there's two guys at the house. One guy that called said that his friend that's there has a warrant. I'm not sure if he's they're apparently separated, but I'm not sure if they are staying there waiting for us or if he has the other guy held there. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Yes. How far are you away from 493 Allensville? I'm passing Hedgesville High School now. Did someone else call back in? About three times. Ten four. Can you get the male's name and check his 75 for me? Ten four. 75 says warrants, so I'll, I'll have him check. I guess they have his name. I'll have him check and find out what kind of warrants he has before we get out there. In case it pops off. 144 Sheriff's Office. One forty four Sheriff's Office. Four nine three. Did you See anything on that 75? 10 4 is affirmative and I have more copy. Alright, 10 4, you can go ahead and show me 1097. Alright, 493. Numerics are not good out here on Allensville Road, so you gotta try to like find the numbers on houses. We just don't always have them. Alright, I think we're up here more. 413. All right, we're gonna be down here just a little bit more. Usually mailboxes have them, but I guess these houses don't all have mailboxes. 464. There should be the next one. One forty-four Berkeley. I'm, I'm out here. I don't know how many get out of this? Packet forty-four. Driveway. All right. Let's see what we got here. Driving the mixer? Okay. Hey, sir, how's it going? All right. So, what's going on today? The gentleman you're looking for. You got some outstanding warrants with the rest? Uh, yes. Where's He's he right there finishing concrete. Okay. Right. Okay. You represent who? Uh, TBH Concrete. I'm, okay. I just wanted to plant more. Okay. Bird. I got you. So, I understand there's some outstanding warrants, so you may okay. contact us where he was at to get. Okay. Alrighty. I-041-537. I-041-537. Okay, 
Now, how'd you get here today, sir? My wife. Your wife brought you here. So you're not with the truck or anything? No. Who, who's, who's driving the truck, Tim? I just want to make sure. The dude in the light green. In the light green? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm just going to work this, bro. That's fine. Just. Or the, if they're working with you, are they working with you? Are you guys with no, them? No, he just brought me a yeah. sign. Oh, uh, okay. All right. No. I'm here by myself. Okay. Who, who do you work for? Myself. Oh, you do? Okay. Gotcha. You let me finish this woman's job. I mean, I can't, man. It depends on how much. I'll let you smooth that over, but I, you know, if you got a warrant, I got to bring you in with me. Ain't no way I can finish the job first. No, man. I don't want to give her up. I how soon does it need to be brewed? I mean, I can get a warrant for like 45 minutes to an hour. I got it. I'll take it up to her. She can't go burn the floor. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't wait long. I mean, they called us out here, so I got to. We gotta get this taken care of. Get this warrant right. taken care of. All right. Put my wallet and stuff in the car. Yeah. What do you got? Let me just patch it down real quick. Just get your hands back for me. Just put your hands back for me. You good? Let's go patch that. Make sure you don't got anything on you. Okay. No weapons. Nothing to stick yeah. in or anything. All right. What is all this stuff in your bucket? What's this? The lighter. Yeah, Heller keys. Okay. All right. Alright, just put your hands, turn it like that for me. Alright. Alright, what do you, what you got here? You got some change and stuff? Alright, we'll put your lighters in the car. Cigarettes. You want your inhaler? Okay. Alright, the change will be fine. You'll be good with some change there. Alright, need your keys, you want to keep the keys? Put them in the car. Or give them to her. Where's she at? Oh, she's in the car? Okay. Alright. What else we got? Just a piece of paper. You want this paper? You're going to put it in the car too. Alright. Which car is yours? The white one over here? No, the blue one's in the driveway. Next driveway. Oh, gotcha. Alright. Alright, just drive. walk over this way with me. Alright, I'm going to take you back here with my car. Take some of the light real quick. Yeah, that's fine. Walk over and say, just tell her what's going on, all right? All right. Somebody called. I'm not sure. I guess somebody called and said he had a warrant. He was here, so we checked, and he does have a warrant. Yeah, I just went to court yesterday. Yeah. I mean, we have the hard copy sitting in, in our office. We double checked it to make sure we had the hard copy, so we do have it. I don't know. I mean, we'll get it taken care of. I had court Monday and yesterday. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll go in, you'll see a magistrate. We'll do your fingerprints and all that. We'll see a magistrate. And then um, you'll get a chance. He'll tell you what it is. You can read the complaint. You'll get a copy of your own warrant. You can read the complaint and see what's going on. All right. And then uh, you'll get a bond set. So, yeah, call, call Weather Holtz. Yeah, I'll uh, have to wait till I get back. I that's can't fine. Get, um, you're fine. Out yeah, you're fine. Uh, it'll take us a little bit to get stuff done anyway. Um, it'll take us a little bit of time to get stuff knocked down anyway. So, just when you get home, give him a call. I will. All right, you ready? Yes, sir. You want to play that cigarette with her? No. I'll, I'll throw it out before I get in. All right. Can they move those trucks? Yeah, I'll have them move. Hey, sir, can you move the truck out here so they can? Okay. You want to give that to his wife? Let me check that. All right. All right. Ma'am, they called and said you weren't. I don't want to have as much of a choice. Okay, well, I don't want my daycare in this. That's my point. Your daycare? Yes, this is a daycare. Okay. Yeah, so I don't want the daycare. Job. He was just doing a concrete job. I understand that. But I this understand that. isn't about the daycare. Oh, I, oh no, I mean, it's not about the I know, honey. I'm okay. just like, you know, I <laughs> oh, know oh, it's not. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 it's not about the daycare. No, we'll, uh, we'll just get this taken care of, and he should be able to come back if he gets rain and okay. get taken care of. So. He's not He's not just dipping on your job. It's, I, mean, I know he's warm, not. So we, okay. Well, he said he'd finish it for yeah, me because okay. I said, please. Sweet. Okay. Thank you, guys. All righty, not a problem at all. Are you ready? Room it down, right? He 
That's his, his knife as well. I'm screwed. I'm in 10 15 with that now. Um, I'm going to keep his ID just so we can get stuff knocked out with it, okay? And we'll go from there, okay? All right, I'll call Tommy when I get the same. All right, yes, ma'am. Oscar Zulu Mike 422, OZM422. Right, they should be able to move their truck here soon. Um, something like that. <laughs> well, a version of it, I suppose. I was just on duty last week. Were you? Yep. Where, where, where'd you do that at? I had to go play. 1.4, 71.30. And they're going to send me a card to let me know when it's going to be on TV. That's cool. They paid for my plane tickets, my hotel. Work for American. $500 for going. 12 of those tickets. It's going to be on the other side. You know, she's order. retiring, right? Yeah. I just found that out the other day. Wow. Yeah, it was awesome. That's a lot of fun. Who are you, who'd you go up against on her show? A homeowner in Gore was trying to sue me for $7,000 and she threw it out. So did you, did you win it? Yeah. Cool. He tried to say I didn't put the rebar in the concrete right and Judge Judy asked him, he said, well, where's your proof? And he said, I ain't got none. And he said, oh, I got a quote from another concrete guy. And she said, well, how can you prove that he didn't put the rebar in right when the concrete's covering the rebar? <laughs> yeah. huh. It was fun. They paid for everything. That is fun. Who did? The other company? No. Or the guy? Judge Duty. Oh, wow. Yeah, they flew me out there, paid for a hotel, gave me five hundred bucks for showing up. Where'd you, where'd you go out to? Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why either. That's why when I got, when I got called, I had about as much information as you did. Just said he was out there and you had warrants. So I'm not sure how he knew either. Yeah, but then he was well, I, I guess so. Like I said, I was just in court yesterday and court Monday. You know why they, with the fraudulent schemes you got charged with? No. What, what were you in court for yesterday? And um, Stafford County, Virginia. Okay, what was that for? Over a homeowner. Uh, well, see, they they probably wouldn't. If you were in court in Virginia, they probably wouldn't have run your name because this is just a local warrant. Well, I mean, I went two weeks ago and turned myself in there and got bonded out and everything. Yeah, but if if it's in Virginia, we have local warrants just through Berkeley County, and they'll only show Berkeley County warrants. Oh, this one wouldn't have showed up. Uh. No, probably not. Not unless they put it in the system as like a, a statewide, but it's not. I don't think it's a big enough warrant for that. It's just a local warrant. So we run your name locally and you come back as wanted through our office. So we checked the hard copy to make sure it was still uh, still a, a valid warrant. How long ago has it been? I, mean, I, I don't know that. We'll check when we get back. We'll, we'll be able to look at the dates and the complaint and who filed it and everything. Zero one, please. 
I need an officer on 5501. Just relax, I'll do the fingerprints here. They come out better that way, otherwise the FBI send them back. Man. They're not, not in good condition. We do, um, but ours is the newest model, so we have to wait for all the updates to come in, oh, all right. and then we can start using it. That's last what I heard. So I am excited about it because it'd be easier to identify people. Oh, too. Yeah. A lot of people give you fake names, mm -hmm. and the only way to find out if they're giving you fake names or not is to find their fingerprints. Exactly. Which this way, you know, you have to fax them over to Clarksburg with the FBI if you do it like oh, this, yeah. and then they have to get back to you and tell you, you know. Just while I run up to get the uh, the rest of the paperwork, I'll have us put you in this cell. Um, I'm gonna give you your ID back too. Just put it in your pocket and hold on to it. You just walk right in there for me. Alright, we'll be back with you, alright? Alright, man. So that warrant um, that he was talking about in the car, that's in fact the warrant that was Yeah, I issued. think this is the lady he was talking about, but he said he um, did work for her, and it was over $1,000, which makes it a felony. And uh, he, I guess she called in and reported it, so usually when that comes in, they'll come in and fill out a statement saying they got work done. We'll validate the story as best we can, and then we'll do warrants. And then once we have the opportunity, he'll come in, they'll both plead their side of the case um, in court, and then uh, the magistrate will decide from there. Okay. All right. All right, so are you ready? Oh, yeah, you ready? All right, so this is going to be for um, a Miss Adams. Is that the female you were talking about? This is the first name. That is a good question. It doesn't say, I don't think, but it might. Say, give her address. This is your copy. I'm going to give this to you. Right. Um, you can put it in your pocket or whatever. So, yeah, the address, it says, let me just slide through here real quick. Um, JP Concrete, it's your company. Yeah. We're going to check Miss Matt, Mr. Uh -huh. Okay, Miss Adams, yeah, this is... that's the one you're talking about? Okay. Yeah, let's talk to her Monday. Well, we'll have to figure out what's going on. Just fold that up for me. Put it in your pocket. Um, I'm going to put the cost down in the front just for transport. We have to do it. So on day shift, we take all the rests. We take over the courthouse to be arraigned directly by the magistrate since the courthouse is opened. So this process says we'll just take the warrant that was already investigated by another officer and uh, signed off on by a magistrate with the paperwork that I typed up today and we'll take him over and uh, he'll see a magistrate and get a chance to post bond. So that's pretty much what we do over here. How'd it go? It went well. It went well. We found out he had a second warrant while we were in there. Oh, interesting. For the same thing through state police. Different case, but same ch charge. So I served him on the second warrant while I was in there, and then we got him arraigned on both charges. Okay. Then the bondsman had to come over and um, set his post his bond, and they usually, 10% is the most they're allowed to charge, 3% or 1%. 1% is not as common. Usually it's 3 or 5 is what they charge. Yeah. So they have to put that down. Uh, the, the guy we arrested have to put that down. And then they'll post the rest of it for him. Okay. So. Got a vehicle unlock we're heading towards? Yes. So we're going to the credit union off Edwin Miller. Um, the vehicle unlocks are, we offer them. Martinsburg City offer them. Um, so some, a lot of agencies don't, but we, we're two that still do. Um, so we'll go and I'll use my unlock kit and uh, open their car door for them. Cool. So for an unlock, do they have to like prove that the car's theirs or? Yeah, so I'll run their, I'll run their license plate and their driver's license and I'll make sure that the car comes back to them okay. or they at least know who it comes back to, make sure the car's not stolen. Gotcha. Um, 
and generally they'll have the keys on them or the keys will be in the ignition and they'll have make sure the license plate and the driver's license match okay. sometimes it doesn't and they'll tell me hey i'm driving my sister's car or whatever and they're giving their sister's name they'll know all the information about the car before i read anything off yeah. to them and that gives me a little more proof that they at least know whose car it is or you know it's theirs that works. Copy what you have there. we have found the person we're looking for here in the third bank parking lot we've been into now so this is his Toyota 4Runner. Uh, turns out we're at the wrong bank. But uh, we are now here and we're gonna get his car unlocked. Hey man, how's it going? Hey, yeah, yeah, it was, I was out with a black Highlander and I was like, part of the Highlander and I was like, I don't think this is it, but I don't know where, okay. yeah. Anyway, do you have your driver's license on you? Okay, we'll get you unlocked here. 144 bucket. Done. I got with this mail. I found him here. I got a 27 when you're clear. 28. I'll get you a form to fill out too. Okay. Make sure both those names are the same place. Attach. You just come back here with me. I'll get you a text on the other side. I'll get you a form and uh, just fill out all your information on it for me. Yes, sir. And then. Um, there's two places I'll sign on there and you'll be good. Alright. Alright, so right here, just fill out the date for me. This is where you put your name right here. Put the, do you own the vehicle? Yeah, I just bought it. That's fine, just put your name there again. And then the year, make, model, state, the registration number is gonna be your license plate number. And then I'll sign the bottom, okay? All right, so for this, we have a couple different things we can use. Um, this one we can use, um, I'll show you the locks in there, they have them up. These will help us all get in. This is the airbag we use to open the door. And I can use this if I need to push a button or pull the handle. This is my unlock stick. I don't think we'll need that today because of we have this. So I'll show you how this works over here. All right, so we can put this in like here, push the car away without damaging it. And then Good. Those means you match on the registration and the LLS. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Yep. So this pretty much, this has a nice, like, it's almost like sandpaper in there. And the lock is on the top here. So Copy this is relatively easy. All I have to do is loop it out, catch the lock.